If the moon was an Aquarius when you were born, here's your video. Six cards for Aquarius moon. I have been at this for a few hours. I did a video for Patreon. I decided since I had the wig and the makeup on, just go balls to the wall and do moon sign readings for extra basic. We are in the energy of the new moon. And Leo, I gotta do new moon stuff. So I'm making these videos really short. What's cool about using this webcam it's a wig, don't you know? What's cool about using this webcam and all these lights? You can see my green eyes. I didn't know that I had green eyes until I met my Leo ex, my son's father. Uh, we met, fell in love, 2004. I was 31. All my life I had thought that I had blue eyes. He said, no, your eyes are green. They change colors. Blue, green, blue, green, green, gray, blue, gray. I've got mutable eyes. But they look cream on this webcam and I like that. Right now I like the way I look. It changes, but right now I, I like the way I look. I have mixed opinions about myself. Okay. <laughs> Ella Ritano, the hermit. I don't know why that's funny. It's not. It's come up in a few of these moon readings. La Santa Muerte, Death, Scorpio. Gotta have all these lights. Comes to Oros, to a Pentacles. One smart thing that Barbara Walters said once. I don't like the way she interviewed Dolly Parton. I don't know, it was the 70s or the 80s. I was watching this, this analyst. He was analyzing this Barbara Walters, Dolly Parton interview, and he was talking about how um, Dolly Parton really showed her class and Barbara Watchers was really cheap in this interview. She was really um, just saying some shitty things and asking some shitty questions. But one smart thing that Barbara Watchers said once, according to People Magazine or Us Weekly or some shit, uh, she said, if I look good or if I look terrible, it's all lighting. And there's so much truth in that. So that they espada us, page of swords. She used the word hillbilly in this interview. Who does that? So how does it feel to be a hillbilly? How does it feel to go from being a hillbilly to being an icon? The fuck? My Capricorn ex often referred to me as a hillbilly. Words of love. Four of swords, cuatro de espadas. El Atar, El Carro, the Chariot. This is very introspective. This is very quiet. This is quite introverted, introspective, subdued energy. Uh, your focus is on yourself and your spiritual mental health. I'm not seeing a relationship. If you're currently in a relationship, it looks like um, you're giving each other a lot of space. I don't see closeness. I don't see sex. I don't see good, consistent, gratifying communication. It looks like you're on this spirit quest. You're on this spiritual path and you're really committed to that. Um, you could be going through something significant. You could be recovering from a loss. You could be recovering from 
the ending of a relationship that had extreme highs and lows, something that was just really toxic and unhealthy and imbalanced. But you're trying to regain your balance. You're trying to take care of yourself is what I'm getting from these cards. Please provide an energetic summation for Aquarius. Trace Moss, three more cards for Fedor. Trace Moss for Fedor. The sexiest thing about me is probably that I'm bilingual. I have this really dry sense of humor. I am joking. Uh, I'm not bilingual. The only Spanish I can speak is what I see on cards. I couldn't have a conversation with someone in Spanish. Now, if I go across the border or anywhere they speak Spanish, I know how to order a beer and tacos in Spanish, ask where the bathroom is, ask where the whores are in Spanish. Donde están las putas? Uh, Donde está el baño? Quiero dos tacos y una cerveza uh, con limón, por favor. So, I'm not really bilingual. Maybe I'll start listening to subliminals on that. Right now I'm listening to Dylan James' sleep affirmations. They definitely help. Okay, so La Justicia, Justice. You're trying to regain your balance. You were out at sea, storm-tossed. You survived something brutal maybe, and you're on dry land. You're... Huh. Nine of Swords. You're trying to find your peace of mind, your equilibrium. You could be grappling with depression, anxiety. These cards look like shit. There's no way around it. I have to have all of these lights, so... The... Knight of fucking pentacles, Caballo de Oros. If you're currently in a relationship, it looks like it's it's not gratifying to say the least. Um, if you're in a relationship or a connection, someone is giving you the bare minimum. It's not balanced. Um, you could be obsessing over this person. So, I usually stick to one narrative, but I'm seeing possibilities here. Either you're alone and you're working on yourself, you're trying to find peace of mind after something that ended badly. Uh, you could be healing, as is so often said at Tarot Tube, you're in the process of healing. I'm 49 and I'm still healing from things that happened in the 70s, but whatever. Um, Either you're alone and you're really focused on your well-being, your health, or if you are in a relationship or a connection, it's very minimal. And you're stressing out over it because it is so minimal. It's, it's not what you want. It's not the ideal, optimal relationship. You could have this nagging, persistent um, dialogue with your higher self, your spirit guide, your angel, your God, your deity, whatever. There's this voice in your head saying, you deserve so much better. If you're hearing that, Pay attention. Take notes. Is this person worth the wait? Is this person worth the ass ache? I would say no. That's what I see for Aquarius. Aquarius Moon. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.